Hey, welcome back to the Velox 18 Repo Man, Nashville, Tennessee. I didn't want to go to work because I've taken four nights off for Christmas. YouTube channel extravaganza. <laughs> hey, we're gonna head back out tonight. First time since we uh, since we went out um, on the Friday before Christmas. I actually didn't record the last repo we got. We ended up with 12 uh, last week, and um, so best week I've ever had. Um, it was it was a good week. And uh, the last one was um, just a, uh, a a motorcycle that um, the 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 customer had passed away, and uh, the bike was just at his dad's house. So that one was, uh, you know, one of those situations that I find myself in often uh, in this industry, where, uh, like I said, I've said it before, you, I'm always dealing with people on, you know, in a in a in a difficult time for one reason or another. So um, yeah, I got to, you know. Um, kind of be, you know, who I am uh, to that guy, and hopefully share uh, a little bit of light in uh, in his dark time. And um, it, it had been a few months, so it wasn't like really fresh. Uh, so that was good, but um, definitely you could see uh, he was he was sad. He was sad and um, happy to see the bike go, but you know he was sad that he had lost his son. And so, um, yeah, that was that was one that I didn't get on on camera. It was just pretty pretty uh, close to the house and and not one that um it, it wasn't it wasn't a there wasn't going to be a whole, a whole bunch of footage from it so i just decided not to uh not to record but nevertheless we're going to record tonight we've got a whole bunch of uh of open assignments they reopened all the assignments uh between uh between tuesday and today um so that everything everything's open now the whole i mean there might be a few that are still on hold but pretty much everything's off of hold, off the holiday hold, and we're back in action. Uh, we're back on the uh, on on the hunt, man. So let's go get in the truck and get started and uh, roll down this road. Let's go! All right. I uh, I took a phone call, so I I missed uh, giving you guys kind of an update when we were on our way to our first first couple. Uh, stops but we already got one on the on the hook I say already it's midnight but uh, it was our fifth address and our third account that we ran and uh, we got one on the hook so we're gonna run this one back to the lot and then uh, continue with our night we're uh, this was, this was one that we've already ran once before. And uh, this time we went back and we, uh, we were able to get it. Uh, last time I ran it, believe it or not, I think it might have been there, but it was, I think it was blocked in. I don't know, it was raining. It was really hard to see. And, uh, and the address was kind of messed up uh, on on the map so I had to kind of it, it was it showed up as one ad one house but the address was actually for another house so it's possible I just missed it all together last time but um, I also I, I remember it being it was raining and uh, so it was a lot harder to see and then um, I remember there being more cars in that driveway so anyway I'm making all the excuses I can for why I didn't get it last time but I got it this time and um, uh spoke to the the customer um uh she was on the on the phone her her kid came out and had handed the phone and and let me talk to her and so i gave her the information i could and and um and gave her my contact information um yeah you know stuff happens uh not not everyone who gets um who gets towed by me is a uh, is late on payments. Sometimes I've had it happen a few times where uh, they either their their insurance lapses and it's part of the conditions of them uh, having having their vehicle financed is that they they keep current insurance and so if their insurance lapses um, they can be they can be towed uh, the vehicle can be out for recovery. Uh, and also, um, just like, so I've had one where the person put 
they sent in their proof of insurance, but they didn't scan in like the back page and the back page had some important information. And so they had sent letters um, and uh, this, this customer, um, this is a previous customer, not this one here, but the previous customer had told me, I never opened those letters. I just thought it was kind of junk mail and come to find out you know, or, or statements or whatever, come to find out it was, it was letters you know letting her know that they needed they needed more information because the the uh, there, there was a second page or a back page to the insurance proof of insurance that needed to be sent and um, so anyway so it's not always that someone uh, hasn't hasn't paid their note uh, sometimes it can be it can be insurance as well so um, this one she was confused so I'm assuming that that might be something like, you know, the insurance lapsed and, and they didn't know it or something happened um, because it, it didn't seem like, because she, she was confused as to why it was being towed. And so I, I have a feeling that they're probably not behind on the note. They're probably some other, some other situation is going on. And so it'll get sorted out. So I'm pretty confident that they'll redeem this vehicle uh, tomorrow or the next day and they'll get it right back in their possession so uh, yeah not that I don't take extra care of all vehicles but especially when um, the customers are gonna redeem them they look for any any little thing that that you did as a tow truck driver to kind of to kind of you know uh, get you back a little bit so you got to just be on your P's and Q's and make sure that you uh that you don't have any any hiccups um you know nothing nothing to to uh take a complaint over uh, any little nick or scratch or anything you gotta make sure your straps are you know extra tight uh <laughs> make sure everything's everything's perfect because um you don't want to you don't want to have to lose money um on a, on a job because uh, because of, of damage so anyway all right we'll uh get on down the road we're a few miles away from the lot so we'll we'll get down down the lot and then uh i'll catch up with you guys once we get get headed towards our our next one try to see if we can get some more tonight before the before it gets too late all right um <clears throat> Uh, we are continuing our night. Uh, I just ran a couple addresses. Uh, they were like a mile in each direction of the lot, and uh, we struck out. Well, one of them we confirmed that the that the vehicle's there, but it's blocked in. They parked it in the backyard behind the gate, and then parked a car in front of the gate, which I wouldn't open the gate anyway. That's considered breaching the peace, and that's the one rule we have uh, in Tennessee that we're we can't we're a self help. Uh, repossession state uh, so long as you don't breach the peace so that's the one rule I have to follow obviously there's more rules than that and there's there's different things that uh, are interpreted you know the, the the term breach the peace is interpreted in different ways but one of those ways is you you can't uh, open a gate or, or a door um, to, to enter a premises now if it's open if, if the gates open and you can access it then you're you know then that's then you're able to that's part of the thing but if it's closed you can't you can't even unlatch it it's not even like you know cutting locks or anything like that you can't even unlatch it so anyway so that's that's the fourth one this month you know it's a little bit frustrating to see them to, to visually identify the vehicle um, obviously I can't check the VIN number because I'm not gonna hop over the fence to go do that but it's the make and model and color of the vehicle I'm looking for I'm pretty sure it's the vehicle so um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things, uh, it's happening more and more lately. I think people are watching, you know, uh, TikToks and, and Snapchats and YouTubes and whatever, everything. People are finding out how to, you know, outsmart the repo man, um, which basically just means you're evading repossession and, um, some of those things that they tell you to do on there are illegal. <laughs> Other things are just, you know, bad form. But, um, you know, if they, 
bought themselves some time and they get their payment paid up, then, you know, good for them. But I'll, I'll stay on them. They, they're, that, that one's so close to the lot that I'll be able to stay on it, like, all the time. We'll go at different times of the day, see if they're home. Maybe they'll let their guard down, you know, when it's more like daytime hours. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, all right, we got to keep on trucking along this night because it's getting late and we still got a bunch more to do. We're going to have to push some of it to, to, to tomorrow. Um, that previous repo took a little bit of time, took, took a long time trying to open the doors so I could try to um, uh, get the steering wheel straightened out, but I, I couldn't couldn't get it open. Um, just the angle of, of the buttons for the unlock and then the way that the that the door handles are I just couldn't quite get them and so we just had to leave it at that uh, but that took me a long time to get it into the lot and get try and get it unlocked so anyway we'll uh, we'll we'll keep on keep on going with tonight but we're gonna end up hitting way less addresses than I had planned on hitting so just means tomorrow night's gonna be even busier we're gonna have to start early so uh, that's the plan right now is to start heading back towards the house we're gonna hit a few addresses on the way back because we've got them you know kind of kind of in a line we'll see um, but kind of the ones that are older uh, in age that you know they assigned right before Christmas and I didn't have a chance to run before they got put on hold for Christmas and so now um, you know the assignments really have been open for a week now they just uh, didn't get ran because of the holidays and stuff so uh, I got a few of those so I'm gonna make sure I hit those and prioritize those ones uh, and then we'll we'll call it a night so um, we'll see if we can get one more on the hook and uh, I'll catch up with you guys once we do or just down the road but hopefully we can get one on the hook all right let's go struck out the last few that we went to here one of them was a uh, gated community that I couldn't access uh, which that one you know probably isn't there because uh, it's like a it's like a 10 year old Ford and the gated community at least from the outside looks really nice really fancy so I'm guessing uh, the the ten year old Ford probably isn't you know their vehicle in there. Uh, if it's the right address for the right people, I have a feeling that it might be for like a family member, uh, maybe a co-signing situation, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes um, I overthink these things, and it's just all I gotta do is run the addresses. But I couldn't get in there to run that one, so. Um, and then we came out uh, kind of a back way um, to run a couple more addresses on our way out of, uh, of the Nashville area. So uh, we ran one in Watertown, Tennessee. Um, and then from there, now we're dropping down uh, back towards home, back into Cannon County. So uh, yeah, that's... Uh, this is, I think, I think uh, we're gonna come come down the hill and be right ne right by the Piggly Wiggly. So uh, that'll be that. Uh, we we don't have any more addresses to run between here and home, so we're just we're just headed home, and uh, we'll close out the video when we get down there. Unless you guys want to see the Piggly Wiggly, if you guys want to see the Piggly Wiggly. I didn't really know the Piggly Wiggly was like a real store because I just heard of it from, you know, whatever, driving Miss Daisy or whatever, whatever, wherever I had heard it before. I don't even remember where I heard it, but I didn't, I didn't really know it was like a real thing. Uh, people around here just call it the pig. <laughs> right there on your left, that's the Piggly Wiggly. See that? It's the Piggly Wiggly. But anyway. 
All right, we will uh, get on down the road and uh, wrap this video up next. Ooh, all right, we made it into the house. It's really cold outside. It's freezing, literally. Um, all right, so I've got to go onto my computer here. And, uh, well, I can't show you guys everything I do anyway, so I'm just going to tell you. But, um, yeah, I got to go on. I got to uh, invoice. Um, I got to I gotta submit pictures, upload pictures. I've got to upload a condition report. <clears throat> um, and then uh, make sure that everything is in the computer as it should be. Invoice it. And then that one will be done um, unless they... Uh, they are, um, unless they call me in the morning to set up a time to pick up their belongings out of the vehicle, in which case I have to print out a release for that. So anyway, there's all kinds of uh, stuff I got to do to finish up tonight, though. Uh, it's probably, with only one vehicle that we got tonight, it's probably only like 10 minutes of work. So I'm going to get it and then I'm going to get some sleep. I'm tired. This is my first night back to work since before Christmas, and um, I have to take like five, six nights off, six nights off, something like that. I'm um, it's like it's like getting back getting back into the groove was hard tonight. That was it was way more difficult than I expected it to be. So uh, it's almost four o'clock. We gotta get this finished up and then get some get some sleep because we gotta wake up in the morning and head down uh, back to Nashville to the lot and release some vehicles. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this up real quick. This is where I'm going to cut you guys off. Love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow when we're at the lot releasing vehicles and doing stuff over there. All right.